Dave here. Um, this is a modification I wanted to uh, to ensure a little more buoyancy and uh, stability with my Bio 160 made by Pelican. It's a square stern canoe. Uh, it can take an outboard motor up to a, I believe a 9, 9.9 horsepower. Anyway, just an inexpensive um, buoyancy flotation you can put on the on the upper side of the gunnels is uh, the noodle floats. I have searched everywhere in recent years online and different hardware stores to find um, the, f the foam kits that you can buy to put on your canoes and I couldn't find them anywhere so I decided to to make them myself. I used three quarter inch plastic conduit and that's, uh, that fit ideally through the noodle floats. The noodle floats were eight dollars each um, and I've got four of them, two on each side. And uh, all you'll need really is a drill with a 1 8 drill bit to pre drill for these, which are uh, it's a hardware for metal roofing. And they come with a, a rubber gasket, which is important because uh, it doesn't allow water to, to penetrate. And all I've done was pre drilled through the inside. And you can see a little easier over on this side. That's all I did was pre-drilled and then uh, I used a couple of clamps to hold the conduit and the noodle floats in place. And once they were pre-drilled I worked my way along and uh, once, they, once they torqued up tight that was it. So I'm curious to see how well it'll work. Um, it's not the tidiest. I could countersink with uh, big galvanized washers along the edge to kind of have a leaner um, so it won't be an obstruction when paddling but I don't think with a longer paddle I don't see it being too big of an issue it's only it's only about three inches out from from the side of the canoe so it should work well anyway it's all you'll need there's your hardware I used a small DeWalt uh, impact and I just used regular DeWalt drill with the 1-8 drill bit to pre-drill the, uh, the holes from the inside out. So, What I find in um, recent years, my agility is not like it used to be and I don't feel as comfortable, <laughs> even though this is a fairly stable canoe and wide, I don't feel as comfortable um, without the, uh, the, the extra foam on the outside so um, possibly in a future video I'll, I'll share with you the uh, the benefits of having these floats attached to the to the gunnels of the canoe but anyway I just thought I'd share this with you if you guys are having difficulty like I was trying to find the the foam kits uh, for added stability and buoyancy on the canoes uh, you can easily do it yourself as well, if I wanted to, I can cut the ends off there and make it look a little more finished. I can uh, easily do that with a grinder after, so I just wanted to share with you now to show you. As always, take care, and thanks for watching.